the channel. So today I have something quite different. As you can see from the title, it is a makeup, fashion, skin care haul. It's a haul. And I thought I would do one of these to change it up a bit on my channel. I don't want it to only be makeup and just beauty. I want to make it fashion. Maybe I'll do some baking videos. Some, I want it to be about everything. So by changing it up a bit with this first video, I'm going to show you a haul. And I'm going to stop blabbering and let's go ahead and get started with the video. Since this is a makeup channel, I will start with makeup. And the first product I have right here is one of my favorite setting sprays ever. Ever, ever, ever. I always go back to this. When I tried it, I was like, oh, I want to see what all the hype is about about this setting spray. And I really said, yeah, totally. I love it. I'm going to go repurchase it. So I have repurchased this a couple of times. And as you can probably tell by the packaging already, it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray in Long Lasting Oil Free, Paraben Free, Temperature Control Technology. And I got the small version because I think it's easier to carry. I mean, I can throw it in my makeup bag and it's all good to go. And aside from the big bottle that's really kind of bulky, I mean, I think I'll go get one just for backups, but this is really travel friendly, so I really like this. Next, I have the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and it's super curling, lifting, and lifting mascara. Yeah. And I got the tester size because I wanted to try it out, see if I liked the mascara enough to buy the full product. Because I do have the issue that since my lashes aren't fully curled all the time and they slant down more, it's just, I don't like my lashes. They slant down more all the time. I have to constantly curl them and I have to find mascaras that actually hold a curl. And as you can tell by the last few videos, by not saying almost every video, I've been using the Pupa Vamp Waterproof Mascara. Next, for lashes. Um, I have the Ardell Professional Double Up Lashes in 203 Black, and I really, really like these. Um, they're not quite crispy, but they're like double layered. The Ardell Lashes are one of my favorite pairs of lashes ever. They're affordable, but they're such good quality, so I really, really like these. For the next pair of things, I got um, I got other pair of lashes, and these are the Ardell Wispies, the Demi Wispies. They come in a new packaging. And I really like them. I really like the packaging. Love these lashes. I think the Demi Wispies lashes are my favorite lashes. They're so comfortable that they make my eyeshadow look really nice and wispy, as the name can say. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, they changed the packaging, as I just said. They turned it into this light baby pink. It used to be in this turquoise, and it said natural. Um, these two are really affordable, and they are amazing. One of my favorite lashes ever. The next thing I got is dual lash glue, and um, I already purchased the other dual lash glue, the clear transparent one. It is in a blue packaging, and I really like it, but it can make a mess because it comes like blobbing out and everything. And when I saw that dual came out with the strip lash, um, what's it called? Brush on strip lash adhesive. When I saw that they came out with this, I, I lost it because this glue is amazing. It makes your lashes stay on and it won't fall off. Well, the actual other glue, like the invisible clear one, the original one that everyone uses. And you don't pull any other lashes out, so I really like that one. Next thing for makeup, I had to get a mattifying powder. And this, I was working for, a, I think most mattifying powders, translucent powders, compact powders, are almost the same. So I just wanted to pick up one and find it, slap it on, try it, see if it worked. And I think it's really cute. It has like this detail, makes everything just a lot more exciting in my opinion, so... I'll definitely be using this. I did just just run my finger around to see how smooth it was, and it feels really buttery. Well, not buttery. Just it doesn't feel super powdery and flaky, but just well enough so you could blend and buff into the skin just beautifully. So the next beauty thing I got is a cosmetic brush cleaner. I constantly wash my brushes and I deep clean them, and I also just like spot clean my brushes. But so in between like the deep clean washes and and everything. I like to uh, clean my brushes right after uh, using heavy makeup or every, I don't know, every t two times that I use brushes or so. It depends, but I really like using, cleaning them off. The next thing I have is um, hair care, as you could say. I got a hairbrush. Now, I used to be an a um, regular brush girl and everything and just whichever brush that worked but then um, I found the Tangle Teaser and I saw loads of people raving about it so I really wanted to try it. I tried it, I loved it, fell in love with it, bought tons of them but then I saw that this came to the market 
and it's called the wet brush and I've heard people raving about it and I wanted to try and see if it was true, so see if I liked it, see if I still liked the Tangle Teaser or anything else. So yeah, I really like this. The next thing I have is some jewelry. So um, what I got, as you can tell, is a choker. I really, really like these. I've been looking for one of these for a long time and I finally got it. I found these at Bershka and it came with two. So it came with this choker and a second choker. Oh, let me turn that around for you. And this is the second one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gold and it has like three layers and in the the closest one, the one that is actually a choker, it has like a stone, um, a black stone, so I really like it. I think it's gonna look really nice and cute with the rest of my outfits I'm about to show you. The next thing I was looking for is a pair of earrings, and I wanted to get some big, well not big, just, yeah, big hoops. I wanted to get big gold hoops to get match with the rest of my jewelry because I really love gold jewelry. I'm obsessed with it at the moment. I can still, I still love wearing like silver jewelry, but my go-to is gold jewelry. So I got like these hoops and I bought these in H&M. They came with a three pack. It came with these big ones. It's There's big, medium, and small. And I really like these. I've worn these so far. I really, really like them. The only thing that kind of puts me off them is that they don't come fully around. They, stay, they have like a slit or whatever you could call this at the end. And um, your hair can get tangled in them. But if that doesn't matter to you too much, I think it's really worth trying these. I found them in H&M. Now for skincare, I got two things because I really wanted to pamper myself. And the first thing I got is an... Uh, what is this called? Oh yeah, it's called a sheet mask. <laughs> I forgot the name completely, I'm sorry. Uh, I've tried sheet masks before. I always try different ones. But I really wanted to try this one. It looks quite fun. So, and it's called the Animal Timer Tiger Aqua Soothing Mask, and it looks like this. It's this packaging. I really, really like it. It says that it has um, real animal characters mask, so it's a tiger, and I think it's so cute. So when you put the the sheet mask on, you'll have like a tiger. Your, I'll probably show you when I'm using these. The next thing I got was some eye gel patches that you put under your eyes and make them feel all hydrated and pampered. I don't know, I really like using these for when I want to pamper myself and give myself a bath and, you know, feel all luxurious when these are really affordable, but really, 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 really good. I really like these. And then we move on to clothes. And I got quite a bit of them. I got quite a bit of clothes. This is one of the outfits I got, and this is a jumpsuit. It has pockets, you know, pockets get me crazy. Um, it has pockets and it, ha it comes out a bit plungy. The next item I have is, this is gonna go last, a pair of high-waisted jeans. Now these, I bought these at Bershka and they're a nice pair of clear. I already wore these because I was really in need of one of these. <laughs> they're a pair of regular high-waisted um, jeans. They're a bit stretchy as you can see. Um, and yeah, just regular, regular pair of jeans, like no hole, no nothing, just a bit of a fade, I think, at the front. I don't know if you can see it at the front of the leg. I'm really awkward doing this, I'm sorry. <laughs> it has a fade, a bit, a bit of a fade at the front, and yeah, I really like them. Quite cute detail at the very back. The next thing I got were some blouse, shirts, checkered, checks, whatever you want to call these. And this one is so cute. I think this is one of my favorite items out of the whole haul, aside from this one. And this one. So this is a blouse, and it's like this, it's this print, and it's long sleeve, it's not button up, that's what I really really liked about this one. And it comes in like a wrap, so I'm just gonna hold it up. It's like a full wrap type of shirt. I really, 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 really like this. I think it's gonna be so comfortable and, and cool. It's not a thick material, so I really think it will be awesome for the weather here in Mexico all year long. <laughs> the next thing I got, which is really wrinkled up right now, and I feel ashamed that it's this wrinkled. Maybe I should have ironed this before showing you, but oh well. It is one of those button-ups, really loose, white blouses, shirt things. It's long sleeve as well. And it has two pockets at the front. So the next item I have is uh, really exciting for me, at least, because I thought I would never like these. I love how they look on everybody else, but I hated how they would look on me. It's like the ones I tried, but I found this one and I fell in love with it. It's a fall leather skirt and it has like rose stitches all over it. 
It looks, I don't know if you can see on the camera. I hope you can. Okay, it has a zipper down the bottom, but then down the front. This is the front. It can go up and down. I don't think that's quite a good idea though, because I would not want that to come down while I am wearing it. So what I got to match with that skirt is this mustard yellow sweater. And it's, as you can tell, there's kind of a theme going on around here. Maybe you were looking for more summery colors, but this is the most summery I can get, aside from red. I really like to wear the basics, the neutral colors, just a bit of a hint of a pop of color here and there. But in general, this is what I like to be wearing, so. If mustardy yellow sweater that I got, it's as well like a wrap around theme, as you can see. I, it doesn't look so fine or nice like as if I'm holding it here, but it wears really, really nicely. And it has, it can either be like closed far up and just be like up to here, you can wrap it around, or you can make it look a little bit looser and get that plunge that, and show your decolletage and everything. But yeah, I really like this. It, it is long sleeve, it, it's kind of a thick material. Yeah, I think if it gets cold, because it's been a bit cold recently, especially during the nights. The next item I got were two crop tops, and they are the exact same style, just in two different colors, because that's how I am. So if you, can, if you like the style and it fits on you, then why not multitask and get more colors? So yeah, I got these two crop tops in navy blue and kind of a, I want to say burgundy red, but I'm not really quite sure. I don't want to say vivid red because it might come off a bit vivid red on camera, but it isn't. It's more of a wine red. So it's kind of a halteresque type of cut as you can see I can't hold it well probably I'm shit at doing this and it, it's a crop top so I really like how it fits and it's ribbed this is the back I am showing you the back instead of the front but it's not that different it's just a bit more colored and it's like this and I think it would really look nice with a statement necklace or a long necklace and I got this in this color and also in navy blue navy blue navy blue the next thing I got is a standard, the next thing I got is a standard basic skirt. It's a black skirt, uh, a skater skirt, skater skirt. And it's just like this. It's, I think it's 100% cotton, so it's really nice and light for the summer. It doesn't make your bum sweat or anything. And it's like a really flowy skirt. Is another shirt, and this is a really nice cut. It's a full shirt. This is not a crop top. I thought it was a crop top at first, but really nice and it's off the shoulder top and this part right here comes around your neck so you wear it like this and this part goes over your neck I'm not gonna be able to do that right now um, but I really love how it looks and it's just red and blue and white and a bit of a grayish stripe thing so and it's also ribbed I really like how this looks I thought it was a crop top at first but it's actually a full top so it's really comfy with this. I really, really like it. The next item I got is another skirt. And this is, a, I would say, army green, forest green color. And it's a high-waisted skirt. It goes all the way up to the top of your knee if you put it around your waist, or you could put it even lower, make it low waist, and it goes uh, over your knee. So you could wear it different ways. And it's a rough, aroundish type of skirt. So it comes, it has like this stretchy, it's, it's so stretchy, but for those I'm not going to stretch it too much because I don't want to ruin it. And I think it would be lovely to wear, you could, as I've said before, you could dress it up or dress it down. I think it would be better to dress it up since this is kind of like a special piece. And I don't know if you can see on the side, but the side is kind of like pulling together, scrunched. I don't know what the term is, proper term. But <clears throat> I really like this. One of my favorite colors, green, especially because it, it accentuates my hazel eyes and it makes a green pop out. So I really like wearing this and this felt so comfy. I thought it would be really uncomfortable to wear because tight bodycon mini skirts and dresses don't go well with my body. I don't really like how they look on me. But when I saw this skirt on, I was like, damn, I really need one of this in my closet. So I've got one. And second to last, I got this pair. I got this pair of the cutest heels ever, and they were on sale, which are my babies. Um, so I really wanted a pair like this, and it has tassels. <sighs> Who gets excited over shoes? Because I do. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry. You're missing out on this excitement. But I really like it. It has um, two like 
lines tassels and it has quite a low heel so they're really comfortable i would call these sandal heels sandals and they're really comfortable to walk walk in even though they're like kind of a stiletto type of shoe but i got i don't know if you can tell by the color it's another army green coat it's this time it's a jacket coat thing and it has leather sleeves with a bit of a zipper down the sleeve and it just looks so nice i love this i have one of these jackets but in short it goes up to my what's it go up to it goes up to my hips and i like it i mean i think it's quite nice but i really wanted a kind of a long one it is still quite light Light enough for me to wear when it's summer, when it gets a bit chilly, or in the winter I could wear it on top of a hoodie if, if I want to dress it down, or I could wear it with a, kind of a sweater jumper kind of thing under and it will look so nice. It has a zipper and some tassels and it has like a high neck thing and the only thing I think it's missing is kind of like a button on the side so I could button it up and make it look all nice. Sorry. Make it all look all nice and everything. So that's it for the video guys. Uh, I hope you really liked it. I had lots of fun filming it and showing you guys everything. I felt like a little child showing their parents what they just did with their creations. I mean, I had lots of fun filming this. So if you want me to film anything like this or uh, any suggestions or anything, pop them down below in the comments and I'll be definitely doing that. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be doing something different uh, every now and then with my channel, not just makeup looks and everything. And I really want to change it up a bit. So I hope you like this video. Tell me if you like it. Yeah, t tell me what are your thoughts. So leave them down below. And please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.